It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It is Bayern Munich facing Barcelona. Well, I'm so excited for the players. We see them coming out there. Excited because of what they've got ahead of them. Are they nervous? Looking at them closely in the eyes. Nerves play a big part in games like this, Derek. I'm nervous for them. Who's going to be the hero? in Europe it really is an incredible achievement to make back-to-back -back finals only a few teams can claim that it's certainly not going to be easy but I tell you they've got belief they've got confidence and I'm pretty sure they all think they can win it tonight well here is the Bayern side Manuel Neuer begins in goal. David Alaba plays with Jerome Boateng in central defence. And the starting striker today is Antoine Griezmann. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. PK starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence and leading the attack today is the lethal Robert Lewandowski. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Serge Gnabry. And Pavard on the ball. Thomas Müller. Promising move this from Bayern. Jordi Alba quite happy to put his body on the line after the cross. Jérôme Boateng. Gnabry with it. Kimmich. Now Griezmann. PK, great block there. Oh, he's lost possession. Just can't get it past them. Well, if the trend is your friend, every reason to believe that Thomas Müller will make an impact here, Lee. Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links play from left to right, up and down the pitch. He keeps possession. Takes aim! Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. Griezmann, Goretzka, over the touchline for a throw-in, Longley, Sergio Roberto, now Busquets, Lewandowski, Alaba comes up with it, can he give them the lead? Putting his body on the line. Sané. Now Griezmann. Müller. Gnabry. Terrific block there. De Jong. Now Busquets. Sergio Roberto. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. An effective ball.
Messi. Sergio Roberto. Good technique displayed. Robert Lewandowski in the middle. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Leon Goretzka. Goretzka. Now Griezmann. Well, he has the measure of his man. Gnabry. Here's Goretzka. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Sergio Busquets. Longley. Now Jordi Alba. Dembele. It needs an accurate cross. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. by Messi a really disappointing effort you've got to say well it's way way off target a real poor effort with his head Jerome Boateng and Pavard on the ball Leon Goretzka It's Barcelona's turn now. Sergio Roberto. And the referee has given the advantage. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely. Agree with that one. Dembele and a close offside decision as they were threatening Thomas Müller Gnabry with it annoyed to have lost the ball throw-ins given Pavard Serge Gnabry and the play it goes he was under a bit of pressure De Jong Lionel Messi. Sergio Roberto. Towards Messi for post. Barcelona in the quest to take the lead. Might be helped out by this corner. Played into the centre of the box. What a vital intervention. Well, Derek, just look at those stats. Not created enough chances. They really haven't. They need to up the tempo, put the pressure on. Then they should win this game. Given away by Bayern Munich. Sergio Roberto. Dembele's in the centre. A goal for Barcelona, the Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen.
Well, here's the replay, Derek. I love a ball into the box. You know that. It's a beauty. And then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Serge Gnabry, Goretzka, this is Müller, and return to Müller, Leon Goretzka, possession and patience, the watchwords, Müller, serious miscue in terms of the strike, easy for the keeper. No, he won't have an easier shot to save today, that was really awful finishing from the attacker. Alas, he's made his move too early, offside. Turn to Muda. And just like that, they've lost possession. Half time then, and we're sorry for the pause in the proceedings here, Lee, because this has been a thoroughly riveting Champions League final so far. Well, it has. Great game. Sometimes finals can be cagey affairs, but not this one. Let's hope Derek in the second half we get more of that. It's been really, really entertaining. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is... Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Goretzka and Kimmich Griezmann Thomas Müller Zane has it Kimmich well he's outplayed and outfought him Griezmann and giving it away This might be ideal for the counter. All at all, a broken counter attack. Zane. Leon Goretzka. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. Untidy in possession. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Barca really haven't seen too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Leon Goretzka. And the ball with Alfonso Davies. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. Ahí está un cambio en el Bayern de Múnich. A descansar a la banda con el 18, Goretzka. Entrará en la cancha con el 24, Tolisso. Longley. Jordi Alba. Advantage, Barcelona. No space for them here. And up the far post and ready is Coutinho. Aware of the threat, solving the problem.
And we're inside the final 30 minutes. PK. On to De Jong. Difficult to stop him. Coutinho. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Baba. Lewandowski robbed them. Griezmann. This is Müller. Griezmann. And a fine tackle. Lewandowski. Promising move from Barcelona. Pavard. Now with Tolisso. Thomas Müller. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Müller. Dembele. This is Robert Lewandowski. Well, they've given him too much space. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Thomas Müller. With their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? Barcelona players have to stay focused on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Sergio Busquets. Well, nicely cut out. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And Bayern will change personnel now. Alfonso Davies. A strong play here on the shielding front. Gives it a go. Not a hard save for Tostegan to make. De Jong. Now Busquets, Sergio Roberto, Longley, now Jordi Alba, well, when you can keep the ball like this it's got to be really annoying for the opposition, and the cross is very much on, not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Frankie de Jong. Jordi Alba. Dembele on the ball. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. Just cutting off the supply. Coman. Now can they counter clinically? Will they profit from this situation? Bayern have given it away. Frankie de Jong. Dembele. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. It's a substitution for Bayern. Serge Gnabry. And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, magnificent end to a long, long, hard season. Eventually they've got their rewards and fully, fully justified. Well, for one team, it's a story of celebration. For the other, bitter disappointment. But the Barca players... 
will remember this night for the rest of their lives. And as a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League. And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, it probably will be here next year, you never know. <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved, and they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. The cup with the big ears, as it's affectionately known. And this is the moment, Derek, sharing it with the supporters. You get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands, let them enjoy the experience with you, and the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors. And the...